I think it has been excellent. Um, I think it has, it has been really very rich, a very rich exchange at many levels, both in terms of the experts um, that have been on panels, um, where we have looked at the range of issues from straight youth development policy, to health, to education, to youth um, political and civic participation. We had a really stimulating intergenerational dialogue this morning, um, looking at the issues of aging, the changing workplace, the, the changes in the family, and how that dynamic plays out um, between young and old, and what are some of the opportunities, opportunities for youth in so-called the, the silver economy, which is the aging um, economy, as well as what we also looked at the blue economy, the green, and the what is called the orange economy, which is creative industries. So I think we have had a very, very rich exchange. Um, we have had youth in the meeting as equal participants and partners at the table with the member states. And um, we have had a very um, dynamic group of young facilitators. So I think the energy and the vibration has been very positive in the meeting. And, um, and so we're moving, we're looking forward to the outcomes and of course to the follow-up. We're already planning an interagency meeting of all the partners to see how we can work collaboratively to follow through on what came out of the meeting. We were focusing on two major international frameworks. We were looking at the Lisbon Declaration on Youth Policies and Programs, which was signed 20 years ago by youth ministers in Lisbon. So because it is a 20-year period that has passed, it's a review that we're doing um, to see, well, what has happened in the Caribbean since those, over the 20-year period when our youth ministers um, globally made a commitment 
to improving not only the nature of youth policies to make them um, measurable and accountable and um, evidence-based, but also what are some of the concrete actions that have been taken in the Caribbean over that 20-year period? Can we say that we have improved um, in any way in terms of even the number of countries that have youth policies and in terms of how impactful we have been in terms of youth indicators? So the Lisbon Declaration was one, and the second was the Montevideo Consensus, which was signed five years ago um, when they were doing the 20-year review of the ICPD beyond 2014. So the region, Latin America and the Caribbean, signed on to the Montevideo Consensus, and this was now five years. So again, it's another anniversary. So whenever we have five-year and 10-year and 20-year anniversaries, it's always a good opportunity to do stock-taking. So in this case, the region, we decided that the focus would be on youth, um, given the importance of youth to the region, not only as an important resource, but in terms of their um, demographic presence. Um, you know, the region having at least 60% below, 60% of our populations below the age of 30.